There's nothing like a, the sun setting on a beautiful homemade quilt. All right, we have made it to block 12 and five remaining. Um, I will show step by step on all blocks to show how to do it. So if you watch just one, you will know how to do it from start to finish. Some have difficult problems with the solution and learning abilities. Let's get started on this block after I get everything out of my way <laughs> and make sure you can see. Yeah, okay. All right. To use your uh, candle to take your thread across it to help it not to tangle up. All right. We want parchment paper, no wax. We want to tear off enough to do uh, our drawing. That we have. We don't want to sit it like that. We want to sit it like that so it won't roll up on us. And then we want some pins and we want to pin it to the top so we can draw it and it not uh, move on us. I have a um, transfer pencil. And it is made for ironing. Now, when you're drawing out, draw it out dark. And if you do not want it to uh, embroider it, then don't draw it. Because there ain't no need in drawing stuff you don't need. And all that good stuff. So, I am going to draw this out. And then we'll be back whenever I get done. And then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. I started on this one and I put the mouth in it. And I didn't want it. So instead of going over it because it will confuse me whenever I go to uh, embroider it. I just took it off and then I re drew what I wanted and I just want the airplane I didn't want the uh, eyeballs or the mouth so I left them off so now we'll be back and we will iron it all right let's see if we can't iron this one down now what you want to do is you want to iron your block first to get any wrinkles or anything out of it. You know, like the ones I just now made. <laughs> and plus it helps to put your uh, picture on here if this is heated up. Alright. So we want to take our pins out. Now we want to turn this upside down. And get it in the middle, just as good as you can. And you want to pin it at the top and the bottom. And now we want to iron this right here down. Don't burn your paper. And we just want to go back and forth until we get it on there. Now, you can pick it up and you can see it if it's on there. Oh, yeah, we're doing great. I did this one right here good. Okay. So we are doing pretty good on this one. <clears throat> and I got it on there where I can see it. Now we'll take the pins off. And see how it looks. Alrighty, we'll be back. All right, now we want to take our page, and we want to do it from the back, not from where we had drawn it, because we want it the same direction as our pattern. And we want to pull out our thread, 
and we want to take and write down what color we want what. Like, I'm going to use purple up here, and it is 209. So we're going to write 209 on it. Then that way we know what color we want. It. So I'm going to go through all that. I was going through doing all this. I had already done, took the lid off of this. But what I did is I took the lid, I got the lid back out, and I started putting all my colors on here. Then that way I have all my colors on my lid, and that right there kind of helps me keep them separated, and I know what's going to go where. So I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll be back. So here we start another one. And I'm going to start with these right here. It's seven ninety seven, and this one right here is seven ninety seven. We have seven ninety seven over here, uh, seven ninety seven. So anywhere I put in seven ninety seven, that's what I'm going to do. So I hope we have no problems. But hey, there is no telling. Oh, let's do this. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I got a I got a needle there. So we ain't gonna worry about it. But uh. I will show you this so that I didn't think I had anything on there, but I do. Okay, so with the candle deal, all you want to do is just go like this right here and get some wax on your candle. I mean, <laughs> yeah, get some wax on your candle. Kiss the wax on your thread. Oh, my sinuses are going crazy on me today. I hate it when they drain down the back of your throat. Okay. So, we are going to get busy, and I am going to get this done. If there's any problems, I'll be back. Other than that, we'll move on to the next step. I haven't got too far into it. If you look at my needle right here, it is rusted. So, this needle, whenever I get, if I can make it through this thread, I'm going to throw it away. All right, now I'm down to here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to take this little teeny tiny uh, stitch in there, and then I'm going to make it up here to my next place that I need to go in. Now, when I do this one, I'll cover that up, and it won't be seen. So, I'm going on with a rusted needle, which I'm going to have to change. This needle's a little bit too bad. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to change it. But this is my needles that I'm going to throw away. See how many I've got in there? And this right here is better than throwing them in there and somebody uh, getting stuck with them and all. So we can just throw this whole thing away whenever we get it up there. Okay, I just messed up my lid. Oh, God. Okay, there's another problem. It's a good way to find out if you need to put that color there. Take and put it on here like this, and you can see your see what you've done. Like this one here is 797, which I've done. And see so if there's any more 797s that you haven't done, and then you can tell if you've already done them and if you need to do them. Smart idea, I think. Okay, now we want to work on. 796 which is the uh outside of the airplane so i am going to get that done and then we'll be back take a look at it and when i get done with that that one done and believe it or not they are two different colors these are here too one's just darker this one here is darker than this one is but it does but let me show you right here where i made a boo-boo around here so that right there is supposed to be 775 and I didn't do it I did it in this color so you know what it's going to stay that way <laughs> okay so now we're going to get another color out and I think I'm going to go ahead and do the wings right in here in this area and it is 413 so we'll see how good that works we got that done and it's still on the camera it, it still looks the same to me 
But out here, you can tell the difference in these t colors here, you know. Alrighty, let's go on to the next one. And I think I'm going to do 775. Because I see a bunch of them, and we're going to forget that one. But we're going to do all the 775s. And then I have this right here to do. And I will show you a picture. But if anything goes wrong, then I'll come back and show you what's going on.